So you want to be able to make this sound like this. And by the end of this video, you will be able to find your own voice on what I call Ultra Modern Dorian Sound. <laughs> How's it going? Daniel Weiss here and I know you're gonna love this subject and this video I made for you today. Before we begin guys, please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button so you don't miss any of my videos or my live streams and let's start. Now the Dorian scale is what I like to call the happier minor mode. Well it's actually exactly like the Aeolian scale we all know but with the raised 6 so we have a 1, 2, flat 3, four, five, natural six, flat seven. This gives us a different kind of sound that is happier, right? And there's lots of themes and famous songs that were written with that mode, which is a beautiful mode. <laughs> Can you think about more examples of songs in Dorian? Please drop a comment in the comments below and let me know. All right, so like when practicing any kind of scale, before we get really fancy and spicy with it, we want to make sure that we really know that scale inside out. So that means playing it over one string and being able to play the different positions and just really knowing the scale on the fretboard, being able to visualize that scale no matter where we are at. That's really basic stuff and I'm just gonna show that really briefly. take such a scale and make it sound even more ultra modern and hip? Well, here are my steps to follow. And by the way, the last one is really one of my favorites. So make sure to stick around. Diatonic triads are super important when learning new scales. They are the different stations of sound of this big cake called a scale. So imagine you have this beautiful cake that is called the Dorian cake and you can cut it into different pieces that will symbolize the different chords that are built within that cake. So that's diatonic chords. So now let's talk about the diatonic triads and for that I wanted to zoom into the guitar to make it easy for you guys to check it out. So here we go, this is a minor triad followed by another minor triad then a major triad and another major triad then we have minor triad and a diminished triad. Then we have a major triad and we're back. So minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished, major, minor. First thing you're gonna do is gonna learn it on a couple of strings. And then the next thing you're gonna do is see if you can learn it on free strings. So on free attached strings you have C minor, D minor, flat major, F major, G minor, then you have A diminished, B flat major, and you're back at C. Coming back. Another thing that I really love doing is taking the scale and finding the different chromatic options I have within that scale. So I, I find the notes that are not within that scale and use them to chromatically embellish a phrase. Instead of playing a phrase regularly, now I'm kind of decorating it with chromaticism. So let me show you what I mean. 
This is the root of C minor and to get here I can do either just a scale or play a chromatic note. Another thing I can do is play a chromatic down below into the root and to the root. So going to the root and that's how you get these kind of sounds. Another example. So I started off with the chromatic, then playing some diatonic movements. Here's the diatonic triad. I can add some more chromatic movement going to the pentatonic scale, which already has a chromatic note if you think about it, and resolving back to the root. The melodic minor scale is basically a Dorian scale with a raised 7 and believed to be one of the most important sounds in jazz. Wow! Alright, so now let me show you how to raise the 7 to get the melodic minor sound, which is a really magical sound you want to kind of explore. So let's do this. Here's a root, second, flat third, four, five, the 6 of the Dorian, and then we raise the 7, so we get this sound. And we can keep playing that on the fretboard, letting our ears just soak in the new sound. Once again, you can also take one string and make sure you can play that sound on one given string of your choice. And then we can locate the diatonic triads using that new scale that has a raised 7. So now instead of having the regular Dorian triads, now we get a minor, minor, augmented, major, major, diminished, and another diminished. And let's see how that sounds. Using triads that are outside of the scales is one of the most coolest ways to take a really inside sound and shift it totally to a new dimension. Just like using chromatic notes within a scale, we can take a chromatic note and make it a full triad. So for example, if we don't have an, an F sharp in the scale because C Dorian does not have an F sharp, we can take that F sharp note and make it any triad we want. For example, a major triad or a minor triad, even diminished and augmented triad works. So the only rule for me personally is that I can take any note from the chromaticism of that scale, implying a, a note that is not within that scale, and choose any type of chord I would like to structure over it. Let's do another example. We don't have D flat in C minor Dorian. So I can play D flat major, D flat minor, D flat diminished, augmented, any D flat that I want, and then coming back to the scale. So now I'm going to show you some of my favorite chromatic triads, and here they are. Well, we don't have a D flat in the scale, and D flat is a half step above from C. So let's explore that kind of relation using a major triad. So we have C minor, D flat, C minor, D flat. So now we get this kind of sound in relation to the pentatonic scale or the Dorian scale. So C minor, D flat, C minor, D flat, C. And of course you can explore the sound on the entire neck like anything. Here's another cool thing, a tritone using uh, minor chords. So C minor, F sharp minor, C minor, F sharp minor. Another one that I really like is a minor 
triad a six apart, minor six apart. So we have C minor, A flat, C minor, A flat, and we can come back to C. And by the way, I made an entire video about triad pairs. So after this video, make sure to check that one out. So that's another way of thinking how to create out and in kind of movements and phrases. We play some chromatics maybe coming back to scale notes or we play out triads coming back to in triads or maybe just the scale itself. Experiment with those things. To be honest, the only way to really make this part of our own unique voice is to practice those things a lot and also listen to the players that use those type of stuff. Pat Mattini, Michael Brecker, Scott Henderson, Alan Holtzworth was one of the greatest pioneers of that out sound, but that's a whole other video. Chick Corea is one of my favorite players and he uses out and in devices just beautifully. My 51 Galactic Jazz Licks course has many examples of licks with these kind of relations of like chromatics and in and out and melodic minor and you can check that out on my website wiseguitar.com so are you gonna take action and put this process into your own practice routine so you can find some more interesting new sounding lines let me know in the comments below i'm looking forward to chat with you there after this video is done so if you enjoyed this video please make sure to press the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos or live streams and make sure to also share it with someone who you think might benefit from it. So that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.